What's up, everybody? Today is Monday, November 27th. It's the Monday after Thanksgiving. I'm here with our contest winner, Matt King. Matt, how's it going? Hey, what's up, man? It's good to be back. How was your Again. Thanksgiving? It was good. Um, had some family over. It was a good time. Very good. We hosted We hosted our Thanksgiving as well. Had a lot of family in and just good time to kind of unplug, get away from the markets for a little bit, reset everything, and but glad to be back at it. Awesome. Me too. Well, cool. Well, here we are on your monitor tab here, and you can see as we go down the line, basically kind of the same story where we've made or are making money on every symbol except for our little redheaded stepchild, the, the NASDAQ. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yep. So it's uh, it's still being a little bit of a thorn in our side. We just, we, I mean, we could really use just a little bit of down movement in the NASDAQ to, uh, to get back to profitability, but it's just not, uh, it's not participating in what we want. So we actually need to make an adjustment in, uh, the NQ in the NASDAQ. But before we go to that, let's just go down the line and click on your analyze tab Yeah. and take a look. The first one being forward slash NG, which is natty gas. And what was really interesting, if, if you go to the charts on the Friday, on this last Friday, um, the Friday after Thanksgiving, which is typically a very quiet day for trading, as you can see that big red bar here, Nat Gas was down over four and a half percent just that uh, just that Friday. So interesting. I haven't even looked to see what 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 the reasoning was. It really doesn't matter, um, but it was down over four and a half percent now. Today, as you can see, it's up over 4%. So Nat Gas is moving around, uh, but if you go back to our, our Analyze tab, what you'll see is that you know price is still in our range, hasn't breached a short strike yet. We just we need a little bit more up movement in price, a little bit more time to pass before we, before we do anything in Natty Gas. So all good there. Yep, yep. Uh, skip over NQ, we'll come back to that one, go to Costco. This is one that we put on an iron condor in and still very centered, a tiny bit of profit, but nothing to do in Costco yet. And then EWZ, which is the Brazilian ETF. Uh, you can see still very centered, tiny bit of profit there. Again, nothing to, nothing to do in EWZ yet. If you go to the chart, you'll see that implied volatility has actually continued to rise. So actually it's down a tiny bit today, but we need a little bit more contraction in implied volatility and for price to, to stay in a decent range before we before we do anything in EWZ. Gotcha. So that brings us to our little problem child, the NASDAQ. So as you can see, price is hanging out, continuing to hang out in our upper upper end of our range. And there's a couple couple things here. If you uncheck the calls down below. I right, gotta reset it again. Yeah, gotta reset it. And what you'll see is that if you uncheck your calls, what you'll see is almost all of the premium is already out of the put side, meaning we're at basically almost max profit on the on the put leg. So those puts aren't really helping us anymore. Meaning if price continues higher in the Nasdaq. Uh, the only thing we can do is lose money. They won't help us as far as uh, theta decay or time decay or uh, if the price moves up, won't help us in, in kind of softening that, that blow. So we want to we wanna move our puts up closer to price, collect more premium, and at the same time, we're actually going to roll out to January. So these are currently into the, the December cycle. If you click on your trade tab, I think we've got 18 days left to expiration in those. And kind of the, the rule of thumb that we like to follow with these uncovered options, which is strangle, straddles, kind of these naked options to help, uh, help manage our, our risk is once you get under 21 days to expiration, the, the risk in those options really starts to accelerate. And that, that refers to gamma, which is one of the, the option Greeks that we look at. And, and basically what that means is that small movements in price can accelerate the, the price of those options. So in looking at this, I mean, if, if NASDAQ were to make a, a big down move, we're gonna wish that we hadn't rolled 
But to play it a little bit more to the, the safe side, we want to cut down some of that risk, roll out to the next cycle, and we'll continue to manage the position from there. We, we've got to roll the puts up anyway because they've basically lost all their value. And with this many days to expiration, we want to go ahead and roll out to January. So yeah, go ahead and go back to that uh, Analyze tab. So let's do this. Let's just go ahead and close out our puts. And we can just close both of those together. So just highlight the two puts there. There, got them. And then right click and close the create closing order. <clears throat> and actually, so yeah, it's just gonna make us do one at a time. So yeah, that's right. With futures, we can't roll in, as one transaction. So let's just, close out each one separately. So go ahead and pick that one and let's close it out. Okay. So let's try to get filled at 550. Let's split the difference there. Okay, 550 and confirm and set. That one worked. Got filled at 550. Okay, so before we do anything, let's go ahead and close out the other put. That was good. Try to bring that up. Hopefully, you can see the bottom here. Yep. The other put. Which one? It says that that sixty-one seventy. Which one? I just did the sixty-one seventy one, or I did sixty sixty. So this would be the right one. Correct. All right. Closing order for this one. And let's split the difference on that one too. Let's go to well. Let's go to nine twenty-five. See if we can get filled there. Okay. Yep, got that and one too. Get filled. So it's just trading a quarter off of quarter off of mid price right now. So, so then what we can do is before we do anything with the calls, let's go ahead and, and roll our our puts. Let's complete our put roll. And yeah. so to do that, go to your trade tab. And we're going to close the December cycle with 18 days left that you're in there. Yeah, so, just, right. so you're gonna minimize it by going to that little arrow on the left-hand side of the December, right there. This one here? Yep. Gotcha. And actually to, to populate the, the next expiration cycle, go ahead and click on forward slash NQ on your watch list up above. There you go. So it's waiting for data. There it is. So when you're when you're clicked on your watch list down below of your current positions, that was only the December contract. So you had to click on the the main one up above to act, uh, actually let it populate the, the January and, and all the different cycles available. Gotcha. So, so go down to the January 18. That's the the week three or the the most liquid options, and that's noted because they're colored white there, as you can see. Mm -hmm. so go ahead and open that up. And when we roll our puts up, we want to roll our untested side, which is our puts. We want to roll those up to around the about the 30 delta is kind of the rule of thumb that we use. In this case, I would like to give it, uh, well, first of all, we've got two different positions on, and I want to keep those separate. So let's do one right at the 30 delta. So go ahead and right click on that one that you're that you're highlighted on right now and sell. We're gonna do single, because we're just selling a single put. And actually, I'm sorry, we're- Oh, whoops, we're I just the, hit. Yeah, we were on the call side, so we actually need to go over to the put side. Oh, crap. So go ahead and, that's okay. Yeah, you can delete just... that if you want. Uh, and then go over, scroll up. And we wanna be on the 30 delta for the puts. Oh yeah. And in this case, that's the 6250. So yeah, same thing, just right click and sell single. Single. And we're probably gonna get filled somewhere. Let's try to kick that up to about 66. Uh, six, let's do 66, uh, 75. Actually, okay. I'm sorry, I I'm, gotta go the other way. Six, I was going to say, that one went over the uh, middle mark there. Yeah, we want to go to 65. Let's 65. Go 65. 50. Yeah, there you go. 65.50. Yeah. Okay. Do we, we don't need to analyze anything? 
Now go ahead and confirm and send. And we're not getting filled there, which is which is okay. We'll just let that sit for a second. Yeah. And then we're there. There goes right filled. there. So I got filled at 65.50, so we're in that one. Now I'd like to do one with a little bit lower delta. A, I want to keep the keep the trade separate. And I'd like to give the NASDAQ a little bit more to the uh, room to the downside uh, to, to hopefully benefit us. So let's go with the let's go with the 6200, which is the 25 delta in this case. Okay, this one here. Yeah, so yeah. We'll do the same thing. Sell a single. And let's try to get filled here at uh, about 55. 55 even. Yep. Sound good. And send. There we go. Went through. And I should have stopped you, but one thing one thing you would have noticed on that uh, confirmation box is that when we do this, it's not taking up any additional capital. So that's the that's the thing about you know strangles is that if we have a call side already on, if we go to sell a, a put side, it doesn't cost us any more in buying power because you can only lose one way, right? Price can only move up or it can only move down or obviously stay in our range is where we profit, but you can't lose on both sides at the same time. So you get that, you get that offset. So it, it, it costs you no additional capital, which is a, which is a good thing. Okay. So let's go to our, let's go to our analyze tab and check those out. Analyze there. So what you see here is, um, and actually you're going to you're going to want to click down on your current account watch list on the left, and click on NQH8. So these are the new ones that we just put on. And so if you uncheck one of the boxes down below, what you'll see. So this is the 6200 put, the uh, the first one we put on. And so if you hover over the graph up top. What you see now is we've got a, a max potential profit of eleven hundred dollars on that. Mm -hmm. So we collected that new premium. Got, it's a new fresh put. So now, if, if price continues to move up, that's actually going to help our position on that put side. And then, uh, and so it gives us a, a new credit of eleven hundred dollars on the sixty-two hundred. And then down below, click off the sixty-two hundred and click on the the sixty-two fifty and do the same thing and we collected a, a credit of 1310 on this one so we collect so we're a little bit closer to the money but we collect more credit so we have more profit potential or it, or it helps us more in an up move and it keeps them separate so that way we can continue to track these as two separate trades okay so now we got to go back and do our call side so if you click on the other NQ, which is the NQZ7 over there on your left. This is the December cycle, so you can see we still got our calls there. And we basically want to want to close those out as well. And remember, when we reopen these or roll them to January, we're just going to use the exact same strikes. So we've got the 6180 and the 6280. And so just go ahead and close out one of those at a time, just like we did the others. Closing. Okay, closing order, buy that back, and let's try to get filled at 236.50. Actually, that's the wrong good. direction. We're not going to get filled there. Let's do, let's go with 238. 238 even. Correct. Right. Yep. Confirm and send. And we got filled. So 238, and then same thing on the 6280. Try to kick this down to let's say 147. 50. There we go. Give it a shot. Won't get filled here, but let's let's try it out anyway. Yeah, it okay. worked. Good. All right, good deal. All right. All right, so we're out of the calls in December. Mm -hmm. So now we got to go back to the trade tab. 
and reopen those calls in January. So you can. So I gotta pull up. I gotta go up here to NQ, and yep. then there's our January stuff. Now you're looking at doing the same strikes. So we would instead of looking for the delta, we want to look for. I think it was 6180, wasn't it? 6180 and 6280. Okay. Here's 60. And, all right, just to make sure I'm, we're doing calls this time, so 6180 would be over here. Yeah. And we are selling again. Correct. Uh, is this a single? Single as well, yep. Yeah. Yep. And then. So let's kick this up to about 294. Five, let's say. Two ninety two ninety five is over the mid there. Yeah, my bad. Uh two ninety let's do two ninety two. Try that. There. Give it a shot. Confirm and send. And there we go. And so and that the was a sixty one eighty. Now we want to look at the sixty two eighty. Yep. And, and before you do that, Matt, just a just a note, because people might be wondering, and you might be wondering, if you click off that real quick. So look at the 6280. It shows, as far as open interest, zero contracts. Now, typically, in that case, I don't I don't like to trade in in this low of volume. But with the Nasdaq, you know, it's got, uh, you know, this is the the January future cycle, but we've also uh, we're looking at the the difference between the bid ask as well as the fact that, you know, the Nasdaq um, market is you know we know it's not as liquid as like the S and P's and things like that, but we really won't have an issue getting in and out of this trade because the Nasdaq as an index as a future, as a as an asset is is very liquid and so the futures are always going to. To, to track that, but I just I wanted to point that out because in a lot of symbols like ETFs and things like that, I would not trade this with with such low open interest, low volume. But in this case, and this is just kind of a nuance from uh, that you wouldn't know unless you you traded for a long time. But in this case, it's still we're still going to get filled. It's still a decent vehicle to trade, even though it's showing you know zero open interest on that strike at this point. Okay, I didn't catch that, so I appreciate you bringing that up. Um, I'm just looking at the strikes going, okay, this is what we're at. This is what we're going to put it back at. So, right. but go ahead and uh, right click sell single there. Oops. Sell single. And let's try to get 60. filled at the, about the two. Yeah. Yeah. 20. Yeah. 24, 214. Yeah. Let's try there. Try that. All right. And pick the right one. That's good. Yep, that's correct. All right. Looks like I went through. 14. All right, so now we're all, all, right. all rolled to January. So let's go back to the Analyze tab and just take a look at what we've done here. <laughs> so if you go go down below on your current account watch list on the left, Click on NQH8, and <coughs> excuse me. So now you can see it's a little bit. Um, well, you've you've. Uh, let's just click on one one of the one strangle at a time. So you've got the 6180 call, and let's click on the 6250 put. 6250. Yeah, so put. That on, click that off. And what which call did you want? So we'll keep the 6180 on. Okay. And so undo that one and undo that one. Yep. Got it. So now you can see it's it's kind of a similar similar graph shape. In other words, it's still you know we've still got the kind of the same shape, but we've got a lot more profit potential. We're still going to benefit if the Nasdaq moves down. It gave us more room. It extended our break evens to the upside, so it gave us more room to the upside. Uh, and, and so that's that's kind of the benefit of rolling. We're we're con, you know we're extending duration. We're giving ourselves more time to be right. 
Uh, we're still keeping a little bit of a short bias. You know, the Nasdaq's had just kind of a meteoric run to the upside, so we're still looking for a little bit of downside in price to benefit our, our position. But it is, it, it's cut our deltas, it's cut our directional bias uh, down some and, uh, and, and given, us, given us more time to be right. So that's the, that's the value of rolling. That's, that's why we roll. Got it. So go ahead and uncheck the one, those ones and, and check the ones sure. that you had unchecked there. Uh, so okay. this is our other piece, yep. kind of similar, similar situation. So we've got two positions on that obviously we kind of want the same thing to happen with both, just down, move in price, some theta to come out of those options and continue to wait to try to get our money back. The NASDAQ still owes us money. It's yeah, they taking, do. taking its sweet time to give it back. Hey, as long as we can get it back and, you know, we learn something in the process about how to how to, to roll and, and move stuff around like we need to. Yeah, and you know, we're 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 really close to getting back to profits in NASDAQ and then it continued higher and you know, I mean this is just this is just trading. I mean you don't you don't ever know where the market's gonna go. That's why directional traders have such a much lower probability of success. We're still up money overall, uh, but you know I'm hoping to, and I know you're hoping that we we book some more profits for it before the time runs out for our little uh, three month coaching coaching session. We've got a little over a month left, mm -hmm. uh, which is you know a decent amount of time. Uh, we really just need a little bit of down movement in in stocks, specifically in the Nasdaq, and that's gonna that's gonna help us out. So hopefully hopefully we get that. Yeah, hopefully uh, I know that the you know markets in general are normally up. Um, you know, going into the, the end of fourth quarter with uh, with Christmas and everything. So it should be interesting to see what happens. So. Yeah, there's the old, uh, kind of the old notion that there's a, a Santa Claus rally, but that doesn't <laughs> always happen. So you just, you just got to play the probabilities and, and let the probabilities play out. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Well, sounds good. Well, we will sign off from here and check back in next time we need to add close or adjust a position have a great day matt we'll talk to you soon all right take it easy man talk to you later